Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, and Fran Pernick here, and today I've got a review to do for you guys on the world's smallest micro SDHC USB card reader. And this thing is tiny, guys. It's, about the, it's almost the exact same size as the micro, US, micro SD card. And I don't have my micro SD card right now, I kind of left it um, in my dad's car, and he's not here. I wanted to get this over with. But just to go over how tiny this thing is, let me see, this is it next to the iPhone, or on the iPhone. It's just a little bit bigger than the home button. Let me go ahead and show you guys. A little bit bigger than the old home button on my iPhone 3G. Now this thing works perfectly fine. Only thing I don't like about it is it's easy to lose. I've already lost the cap to it. It's relatively cheap at $9.99. Pretty much just take it. I got a USB brick here. Plug it into your USB port on your computer. And, well, actually, stick your SD cards right in there. And your micro SD card, stick it right inside here. Plug it into your USB. Upload, if you have a, a type of phone that takes the micro SD card, put your music on it. It's just as quick as a normal USB device, just as quick as uploading music, music on the iPhone or iPod Touch, get that done, pull it out, put it back in your phone, and you're ready to go. It's pretty relatively quick. I do have a phone that requires a micro SD card, but I don't have a micro SD card on me. It's just an old phone I used not too long ago. I really forget where it is, but this worked great. I tested it. I've actually used it a couple times for my Brothers PSP Go. Used it a couple times for that. So that took a little micro SD and it worked perfectly fine. We put music and stuff on it through there. So it's a great device. Nine ninety nine for the quality. It's good quality. I don't know if I would pay nine ninety nine for it, but I really don't have that much of a use for it with the iPhone and I really don't have many devices that take a micro SD. Now, if I did get the, because my DSi, DSi takes a normal SD card, I don't even know if I have one in there, yeah, but if I ever, ha if I had a, a device that required micro SD, this would probably be really useful, because most devices, well, when I, the devices I had didn't have a data cable, so just pull the uh, micro SD card, stick it in there stick it in your slot. You don't have to worry about any cables and you can go on using your device. Instead of most of the time you have to plug your device in to your computer and you can't use it while it's uploading your music or whatever you're putting on it there onto the micro SD card or onto the memory card. Here you can just take it, take your card out of your phone, slip it in here, take it, pop it in to the USB and walk away and it's doing work on your phone. You know, just you can make calls, whatever, because all that stuff is saved on the phone's internal memory. But it's a great product. Again, $9.99 on USB Fever's website. It's a little pricey, but I think if I had more devices that use a micro SD, I would definitely use it. Um, let's see, let me go ahead and show you guys here. It's there. Web page. Can't really see it at all. It's a little bright, but that's where they have it on their web page got a few little describing points there. But all in all, a great device works well. It does what they say it does. So I would definitely think if I had more micro micro SD devices that use a micro SD card, I would definitely buy that. Definitely use it. So please go check them out at uh, usbfever.com. They've got tons of products. This here, this um, hub, it's like a Lego. I'm probably going to be reviewing that next. Is actually from their website as well. And it's it's great to have Actually, if you have these Legos, you can actually uh, stack and build stuff on top of it, which I kind of thought was cool. But, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. But it's just a, a little crazy USB hub that I kind of set on my desk using for my new laptop. I have not showed you guys my new laptop yet. I think I'm going to do a whole video on it. It's actually a Lenovo. I'm not going to go into that now. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, guys. Please check usbfever.com out. They've been so great to me. Thank you, Thomas over there, sending all these products out to me. 
for review, especially these useful products that's been sending me stuff that I would normally wouldn't normally actually review, like this hub and this um, the micro SD cards reader and some other stuff that he sent me in the past. But thank you again, USBFever.com. Thank you to all my viewers. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, guys. I got tons of reviews to do. I'm sorry I haven't been around for a couple days. Just all tons of stuff. That I've been working, been doing a lot of stuff. Coming home tired, not really feeling like doing feeling like doing videos. So I'm sorry for that, guys. But I am back. I'm gonna start doing videos more and more. Might might be starting to see you once a week, twice a week. Because <coughs> I'm not. I don't really have much product. And I gotta tell you guys, I am working. For a guy working as a guest blogger for a website now, it is extremepda.net. Please go check that out. I have an article up there right now, and I have one of my reviews is up there as well. But it's already on my YouTube channel. But go check, um, go check them out over there at extremepda.net and extremepda.com. Dot com is they sell all types of products for the iPhone and iPod Touch and other de other mobile devices and .net is kind of like buymeaniphone.com it's really really nice website my article I think is the first one up there please go check them out guys I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here please comment rate subscribe can't say it enough peace